There is no need to pinch yourself. You're not dreaming. This is the Photomator update we've all been waiting for, and I want to show you how you can use it to supercharge all of your batch editing workflows. Let's jump into it. Now, the first thing that you may or may not notice is this new addition right over here into your collections. If you expand it, it gives you a hint as to what all of the new features are. So to get started, let's talk about these first two. If I click into Flagged, you can see it is sort of like a magic photo album that contains all of the photos that you've put a flag on. So if I come back to my photos, you can see that if I right click on a photo, I now have this ability to flag. The really great thing though is that I have these keyboard shortcuts, Z, X, and U, to really quickly go through and flag, reject, or unflag photos, so I don't have to sit there and think about navigating menus as I'm trying to sort my photos. So for this one, I'll go ahead and flag it. You can see it also shows up right here. This one, I can also flag or unflag. And then if I select this and press X, you can see that it goes into this rejected album. Now, you can think of a lot of reasons why you might want to flag a photo in a batch of photos, but most consistently, I think, people use rejected for the same thing, which is, for whatever reason, this photo's no good, it just needs to go. So what I like to do is go through my photos after a big photo shoot, pick the ones where the subject maybe isn't framed particularly well, maybe pick the ones where the exposure's a little off, and then what I can do is hit X to reject them, come over to my rejected album, and I can either hit select all in the edit menu or just command A and then right click to either delete all photos. I'm gonna use the keyboard shortcut and there we go. Now this is something that if you're taking one or two photos at a time, it may be not a big deal, but if you're photographing, I don't know, kids or families, things like that, it can be really helpful to go through and just get all of those where people have their eyes closed and things like that all in one pass. For those that are curious, the flagged album works exactly the same way, except for maybe there's a correction you want to make with these flagged photos, in which case you can come in here and you can use the edit tools to batch edit them and then unflag them once you're finished with whatever it is you're doing. Now, the other cool feature, and I run into this all the time, is trying to determine which photos are actually the hero photos that you want to use as a result of your photo session. And that's where these star ratings come in. Similar to flagged and rejected, these are just magic albums that automatically pull in the photos that you've been working with as you give them star ratings. So I can come back here and I can either start by right clicking and giving this a one star rating and the star shows up right down here. Or I can just use the one, two, three, four, five shortcut on my keypad. So maybe this one's a two because the subject's more in frame. This one's a five, maybe this one's a five, this one's a four. And what this does for me is now all of these photos are right here where I need them. And so maybe as I'm going through, I decide, you know what? The five stars are good enough. I can go through Command A and delete the ones that I don't need from the four, the two, and the one star. It's really powerful and it's really fast. So now that you understand flagging and the star system, let me show you some features that you might not expect. If you come up here to the filter menu, we now have all of these new filter options. So I can only show my favorites or I can limit it to things that have flags or star ratings. And this is super powerful. So let's say you've had multiple photo shoots over the course of a couple days. So they're all scattered all over the place in your library coming in here and just quickly filtering everything down just to the five stars. Great way to do it. Or let's say you want just the five stars, but the ones that you have flagged. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this one so that I can flag it really quick. And now, over the course of multiple days, multiple photo shoots, whatever, I can get just the ones with the star rating, just the ones with the flag, or even though just the ones that I've edited and are raw. You can really get some powerful narrowed down filters using these new filter search options coupled with the rating and flags. So before you go, let's just show you a couple other small features that might have slipped through the cracks if you weren't paying close attention. Up here in the view menu, I've got this new metadata option where I can choose what shows up on these individual items in my file browser. So maybe I don't want the file type and you can see the raw suddenly disappears from all of these. Or maybe 
I don't want to show the star rating. The one interesting one though is that I can actually turn off compact star rating and so now I actually get my full star rating system right here. So maybe you're not a keyboard shortcut person. This is a great way to make this mouse accessible version of the feature show up right on the tiles here in your photo browser. The other thing that is really awesome, and this is something that we kind of got used to in the Apple Photos app. All right, editor me here. I'm about to misspeak. These are not new features. They just moved to the new location to be more consistent with the new features. Let's go back in. Is this new one right here where I have access to all of these new media types. So for example, if I only wanna see my raw photos, which when I'm editing, frequently I do, right? Or my panoramas or my screenshots. And so next time you're doing a big batch photo shoot, make sure you take advantage of these new features to cruise through those big piles of photos and get to the best ones faster for you and your clients. That's it for this one. And as always, let me know in the comments what you wanna see in the next version of Photomator. We already got our request of more raw formats and now flagging, filtering, and stars, but let me know what you wanna see next. Okay, we'll catch you in the next one.